Buckle up for the rundown of the top 10 wealthiest footballers in Africa for the year 2024. We're talking about the big shots, the heavy hitters, the guys who got stacks of cash that would make Scrooge McDuck jealous. So let's dive right into it, starting with Number 10. Asamoa Gion, the former Ghanaian soccer sensation and captain of the Black Stars. Now this guy's journey from Liberty Professionals to international stardom is nothing short of legendary. He kicked off his career with Liberty Professionals in the Ghana Premier League, where in just 16 games, he smashed in 10 goals like it was nobody's business. Guillen's footwork has graced the fields of top clubs like Udinese, Rennes, and Shanghai SIPG. But he really made waves when he landed at Sunderland AFC for a hefty transfer fee of 13 million pounds. Yep, you heard that right, his net worth. Well, let's just say he's sitting on a cool $31 million. Now that's what I call scoring big, both on and off the pitch. Coming in at number 9, we've got Michael Essien from Ghana, the midfield maestro with a resume that's longer than a CVS receipt. This guy has dribbled his way through some of Europe's top clubs like Chelsea, Real Madrid and AC Milan, leaving defenders in his wake like lost puppies. He's even repping Bakubase, Sabel FK, and the Azerbaijani national team these days. As for Essien's bank account, well, let's just say it's stacked to the tune of $35 million. Looks like he's not just scoring goals on the field, but also in the financial game. Number 8. We've got Edouard Mendy, the Senegalese goalkeeper who's making waves both on and off the pitch. This guy is like a brick wall between the goalposts, stopping shots like he's swatting flies. Mendy's journey to football stardom started in France, where he honed his skills in the Le Havre Academy before making his mark with Cherbourg in the third division. Standing tall at a whopping 6 feet 6 inches, Mendy is a towering presence that strikes fear into the hearts of strikers everywhere. Plus, with a net worth of $40 million, he's not just saving goals, he's saving up some serious cash too. At number 7, we've got the one and only John O.B. Michael from Nigeria, also known as John Michael Obina. This guy's football journey started when he was just a teen, kicking it off with the ABBA Nigerian Animal Football Club. Can you imagine playing for a team with animal in its name? Talk about wild! Anyway, Michael's skills caught the eye of Nigeria's under-17 team, and from there, he's been climbing the football ladder like a boss. He strutted his stuff, not only for Chelsea FC but also for clubs like Lin Oslo in Norway and Tianjin Tata in China. With a net worth of a whopping $45 million, Michael's definitely living large, both on and off the pitch. Coming in at number 6, we've got Emmanuel Adebayor from Togo, also known as the Shade Slayer. This guy's had more offers from fancy clubs than I've had slices of pizza on game night. Born in February 1984, he kicked off his football journey playing for OC Agaza and Mans. But let me tell you, he's been all over the place. From Manchester City to Arsenal, Crystal Palace to Tottenham Hotspur, and even strutting his stuff for Real Madrid in Spain. This guy's footwork is like a dance party on the pitch. With an African Footballer of the Year award under his belt and a cool 31 goals for the Togo national team, Adebayor's got skills for days. Plus, he's not just scoring goals, he's also scoring big in the charity game. He started tons of projects in Togo and all over Africa, spreading good vibes like confetti at a celebration. With an estimated net worth of $45 million, Coming in at number 5, we've got Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang from Gabon, also known as the Goal Getter. This dude's not just a striker for Olympique Marcel, he's also the head honcho of the Gabon national team. When he's not scoring goals, he's probably practicing his off-the-ball moves or perfecting his celebrations. Born on June 18, 1989, in France, this guy's got more tricks up his sleeve than a magician at a kid's birthday party. Standing tall at 6 feet 2 inches, he's got the height to reach for those high-flying headers and the charisma to charm the fans. And hey, he's not just a superstar on the field, he's also a family man. With a son named Curtis Aubameyang and a net worth of $50 million, Pierre Emerick is living the high life both on and off the pitch. He's not just one of Africa's finest players, he's an international sensation. Number 4. We've got the legendary Yaya Torre from Ivory Coast. This dude's not just a football player, he's also a coach, and he's rolling in dough like he just won the lottery. 
Yaya's football journey kicked off back in the 90s when he was tearing up the field with the ASEC Mimosas Youth Academy crew in Cote d'Ivoire. He's been the backbone of the Ivory Coast national team, leading them to victory like a boss. With a net worth of $70 million and raking in $50 million a year, Yaya is living the dream as the fourth richest footballer in Africa. So if you see him on the street, be sure to give him a high five and maybe ask for a loan while you're at it. Number 3. We've got Mohamed Salah, the Egyptian sensation, tearing up the pitch for Liverpool in the Premier League. This dude isn't just a football player, he's a goal-scoring machine and the captain of Egypt's national team. Known for his lightning-fast speed, killer dribbling skills, and a finishing touch that's smoother than butter, Salah is basically a nightmare for any defender. Born on June 15, 1992, in Negri, Egypt, Salah tied the knot with his wife, Maggie Sadek back in 2013. And they've got two admirable kiddos together, Kayan and Maka. With a net worth estimated at a jaw-dropping $90 million, Salah isn't just breaking ankles on the field, he's also breaking the bank. It's no wonder he's considered one of the best players in the world. He's scoring goals and stacking cash, like it's nobody's business. Watch out, defenders, because Mo Salah is coming for you, and he's bringing his bank account with him. Coming in hot at number 2, we've got the legendary Didier Drogba, the Ivorian soccer icon who's basically swimming in cash. Back in the day, when he was tearing it up with Chelsea, he was raking in a cool $105,000 per week. But hold on to your hats, because that's nothing compared to the mind-blowing $325,000 he pocketed during his stint with Shanghai Shenhua. I mean, talk about hitting the jackpot. Drogba was basically making it rain on the football field pulling in a jaw-dropping $15 million per year. Today, this dude's net worth is sitting pretty at a whopping $90 million. Known for his killer goal-scoring instincts and knack for stepping up in big games, Drogba was the heart and soul of the Ivory Coast national team. But now, he's kicked back, retired, and probably lounging on a beach somewhere, sipping on some fancy drinks with tiny umbrellas. Hold on to your seats because we've reached the number one spot, and it's none other than the one and only Samuel Edo, the heavyweight champion of cash in the African football scene. This dude's bank account is looking thicker than a double-stuffed Oreo, coming in at a jaw-dropping $95 million. And that's not all. He's got endorsement deals worth a cool $3 million to sweeten the pot even more. Edo, who used to tear it up as a striker for Qatar SC, was hailed as one of the greatest goal scorers to ever grace the pitch. I'm talking trophies stacked higher than a Jenga tower. He's nabbed the Ballon d'Or in 2006, African Player of the Year in 2005 and 2010, and even took home the title of African Youth Player of the Year back in 2001. This guy's award shelf is probably bigger than my entire apartment. And get this, he's not just chilling on a beach somewhere. Oh no, he's currently calling the shots as the big cheese over at the Cameroon Football Federation flexing his leadership skills like a boss. Back in the day, when he was playing for the Russian football club FC Anzi Makachkala, he was hauling in a mind-blowing $26 million a year. That's enough cash to buy a small island or a private jet, or maybe both. So if you've got dreams of making it rain like Edo, just remember, you gotta hustle hard, score goals, and maybe even become president of a football federation. You know, the usual. Thanks for tuning in, folks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell so you never miss out on our epic content.